Hello and welcome to Saki Tech. So in today's video, I will show you guys how to install Ubuntu Touch Developer Preview on your Nexus device. In my video, I will be using the Nexus 7, the, the Google Nexus 7. But these instructions also apply to the original Galaxy Nexus, Nexus 4 and Nexus 10. So using these instructions, you can install Ubuntu Touch to any of those devices. Okay? Now this is a very easy process and it is fully reversible. So after you install Ubuntu on your Nexus 7, you can easily restore your Nexus tablet to the original Android Jelly Bean stock operating system. Now I have a video for that as well and I will put a link in the uh, description section below. Now like I said, it's a very easy process as long as you have all the tools. So here's what you need. You need a computer running Ubuntu Linux, period. Could be a laptop, it could be a desktop, but you need a computer running Linux, okay? I have a video on how to install Ubuntu Linux on any computer. It's also in the description below. So just go ahead and follow that link if you don't have a Linux computer. So number two, you need your device. I happen to have a Nexus 7 right here, so this is what I'm going to be using um, to make the installation. Number three, your Nexus device, it needs to be unlocked. And I'm going to show you how to unlock your device in this video. It's very easy. As long as you have a, a computer running Linux, which mine is right here, unlocking this device is very easy. Okay? Number four, you need a cable, the micro USB cable that you're going to use. Uh, to attach your Nexus 7, to connect your Nexus 7 to your computer. Okay? So have a computer running Linux, have your uh, Nexus device, uh, unlock your Nexus device, and get the micro USB cable so you can connect the Nexus 7 to the laptop or the desktop if you have one. So let's get this started. Okay, so this is my Linux computer right here. I also have my Nexus 7 right here. I'm not going to attach this to the computer right now, so just put this aside. If you have your phone, if you have Nexus 10 or whatever you got, just put it aside, okay? What I want you to do is I want you to type a command. I want you to type three commands into the terminal in Linux. If you want to launch the terminal, you just press this button right here. Type in terminal and just click it. Press home. Okay, in here, the first command I want you to type is this one. <clears throat> so it's going to be sudo add app dash repository space ppa semicolon fablet dash team slash tools. I'm going to put a link, I mean a, a text at the bottom so you can copy paste. It should also be showing up in the screen somewhere if you're typing this as you're following the video. So this is the first command you're going to type right here and then press enter. Okay, so I'm going to press enter right now. And it's going to confirm. Do you want to go ahead and add this to your system? Just press enter to continue. Okay, and you're done. Number two, I'm going to clear the screen. Okay, I'm just going to clear the screen so you can see everything. So clear the screen. Now I'm going to put in command number two. Command number two is sudo apt get update okay once you type that in just press enter you're going to see a bunch of text scrolling up the screen we are getting some updates and one it once it's done it says reading package lists done so you're done with this let me clear the screen and now you're going to put in the third command the third command is this one okay this is a long command this is going to fetch all the tools we need to put Ubuntu Touch on our Nexus. All right? So once you copy and paste or type this whole command exactly as seen, press enter. That was pretty quick. And you may take some more time. I already ran these, I already ran these commands before. So when I run these commands again, it takes, it's instant. When you guys type these commands in, it may take a little while. Don't be alarmed, okay? 
So that's it. We're done right now with this guy. The next step is to unlock your Nexus. Now, you may already have an unlocked Nexus. If you have an unlocked Nexus, skip this step. But if you don't have an unlocked unlocked uh, Nexus 7, uh, you have to follow this step. Okay, so let me show you how to unlock this guy. Okay, so go ahead and connect your Nexus 7 to your laptop using the cable. Okay, once you do that, I want you to power off your Nexus 7. So power this guy off. Um, well, just press power off. Okay, so let's wait for that to happen. Okay, now that you're powered off, I'm going to have you boot into the boot loader mode for your Nexus 7. And that's easy and it's the same on every device. Press power, volume up, volume down at the same time. There you go. That's the, that's the uh, boot loader mode. Once you have done this, as you can see at the bottom here, Mine says unlocked. That's what you need. If it says locked, it's not going to work. So you have to unlock it. To unlock your device, once you connect your device to your laptop, all you have to do is look at this command screen right here. I'm going to clear this up. All you have to do is type in sudo space fast boot. OEM unlock okay and then you press enter I'm not gonna press enter because I'm already unlocked on this guy so you press enter and it's gonna unlock your device but remember when you press enter you're gonna get a little prompt on the device that's gonna ask you to accept the terms of unlocking you just accept those you boot your device and you're unlocked Okay, so that's out of the way. Just power off this device again right here. Okay. Unplug it from the computer and put it aside. Okay, after you have um, disconnected your device from your computer, I want you to go to your device. Okay, click settings. At the bottom, click about tablet and tap the build number seven times and that unlocks a secret menu that you're gonna go to so go back and now you see developer options in the developer options I want you to click USB debugging and then click OK go home leave your Nexus just like this do not go back to the bootloader um, mode just stay in the regular mode now you can connect this to your laptop so let me do that right now Okay, so I'm going to put the USB cable right here. I'm going to attach it to my Nexus. On the Nexus, you may get a little, um, the computer is RSA, blah, blah, blah. Just click OK. All right. Now, you're pretty much done. Okay, the final step is to deploy all the packages we downloaded earlier to our device to our Nexus 7 it's connected to my computer okay so all you have to do is type in phablet dash flash minus B press enter it says do you accept type in yes yes press enter and you're going to see a bunch of text just scrolling down the whole, like, it could take 10 to 20 minutes. So what it is doing right here is pushing some kind of package to your Nexus 7. This is it. In a little bit, the Nexus 7 is going to reboot, and it's going to reboot into the uh, Ubuntu 
operating system, the Ubuntu Touch version. So I'm going to show that to you. I'm not going to show you the whole thing. It's going to take 10 minutes, so I'm just going to skip to the end. And as you can see, nothing is happening on the Nexus 7 device as the push process is happening. Uh, it's going to restart once the push process is over. During this process, you may end up at this screen where if you look at the bottom, it says the device needs to be unlocked for the following to work. If it asks you that, I want you to go ahead and put your password, your Ubuntu Linux login password, to confirm this so we can continue the process. Once you put your password in and uh, press enter, it's just going to continue doing a couple more things. Okay, so the process is almost over. You're going to see that it's finished in a couple of seconds. Keep looking at the bottom of the terminal. Okay? So it says finished. And uh, once completed, the device should reboot into Ubuntu. So if you take a look at the device right now, it should be loading up Ubuntu. That's what it's going to look like. Okay? So you see that little thing loading up. And I'll be back with you guys once it is loaded into Ubuntu. Process is almost over, as you can see. And we are about to be in Ubuntu right now. Okay, so the device has rebooted after that load process was complete. And Ubuntu is currently launching. And there we go. It's coming up. Here we go. And that's the Ubuntu Touch. Remember, this is just a preview edition. So it's not going to have the full capabilities of the finalized Ubuntu Touch device. Uh, in fact, you can make very little changes to this guy. I'm just gonna go around the the, uh, the device by swiping left and right and show you guys how it works. It may take a little time before it actually starts responding. Okay, there you go. So that's the menu on the uh, on the left side. I actually have to go inside first. There you go. You access the device and then you can swipe around to go to different sections, videos, apps, and to hide that home, people, music, okay? And if you swipe from the bottom to top, you can access messages quickly, sound options, um, the date and time if you have to have it, and uh, other things. Well, as you can keep watching this, but uh, thank you for watching this video. This is this video is over. Um, I want you to go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you are interested in more videos to come, and uh, click the like button if you like this video. And also, uh, once again, thank you very much for watching, and uh, see you next time. Bye bye.